Hello, I'm teacher Karina and I'm here to talk to you about modernism. Modernism is a philosophical movement that, along with cultural trends and changes, arose from wide-scale and far-reaching transformations in Western society in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Among the factors that shaped modernism were the development of modern industrial societies and the rapid growth of cities, followed then by the horror of World War I. Modernism also rejected the certainty of Enlightenment thinking and many modernists rejected religious belief. One of the most visible changes of this period was the adoption of new technologies into daily life of ordinary people in Western Europe and North America. Electricity, the telephone, the radio, the automobile, and the need to work with them, repair them, and live with them created social change. Associated with urbanization and a crucial shift in the social fabric, the period witnessed smaller families becoming commonplace and changes in relationships between parents and their children and within social classes. The modernist movement was driven by a conscious desire to overturn traditional modes of representation and express the new sensibilities of their time. Thinkers such as Sigmund Freud and Karl Marx questioned the rationality of mankind. Modernism spoke of the inner self and consciousness. Instead of progress, the modernists saw a decline of civilization. Instead of new technology, the modernists saw cold machinery and increased capitalism, which alienated the individual and led to loneliness. In the world of art, in the first decade of the 20th century, Young painters such as Pablo Picasso were causing a shock with their rejection of traditional perspective as the means of structuring paintings. Originated in the early 1920s, surrealism came to be regarded by the public as the most extreme form of modernism or the avant-garde of modernism. Similarly, modernist literature addressed the same aesthetic problems as contemporary modernist art. Gertrude Stein's abstract writings, for example, have been compared to the fragmentary and multi-perspective cubist paintings of her friend Pablo Picasso. Actually, with the outbreak of World War I, writers created more cynical works that reflected a prevailing sense of disillusionment. Many modernist writers also shared a mistrust of institutions of power, such as government and religion, and rejected the notion of absolute truths. Modernists also rejected consumerist attitudes in order to undermine conventional thinking. Modernist writers broke the implicit contract with the general public that artists were the reliable interpreters and representatives of bourgeois culture and ideas, and instead developed unreliable narrators exposing the irrationality at the roots of a supposedly rational world. A short list of some famous modernist figures includes Samuel Beckett, James Joyce, Virginia Woolf, F. Scott Fitzgerald, 
Mark Twain, the French young Cocteau, the surrealist photographer May Ray, and filmmaker Louise Buñuel, and the musician Cole Porter. All in all, the impact of literary modernism can't be exaggerated. Well, it could be, maybe, we can say it killed the dinosaurs. It completely changed the way writers thought about form, style, content, genre, and just about everything in between. Authors today are still writing under the shadow of modernism. In fact, much of what we read today is considered postmodern. When everything that comes after you is named post you, you know you're really quite important. Thanks for watching. Bye.